Ruggs and Zofria. All right. Commentator Mikes. This is Emu Killer and NJ's Finest. I've played NJ's Finest in tournament. I was so close to beating him. <laughs> but you did. My mindset was just not there, man. Yeah. It was very close. But this should be pretty tight, but I'm going to give it definitely an advantage to Emu Killer. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. My money is on Emu. All right, let's see. Let's update this. What do we got? Marth. Part one. Is this in order of the tier list? No, it's not. It's alphabetical. And we've got uh, all right, Zelda. Uh, switch the uh, stream. Uh, click in a sheet. Oh, uh, what's up, Rogues? You have to switch the view because you're on commentator view. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Two, two. All right, here we go. Wow, they struck to Yoshi's. I'm gonna call that pretty strange. Uh, Marth Those, has an advantage here, right? Yeah, Marth has a huge advantage here. Those platforms are at the perfect height for just tippers. Yeah, in tournament, I made the mistake of taking the Marth to Yoshi's. Yeah, never do that. It went horribly. See, I personally, okay, I'm a Sheik player. I find this matchup, people always say it's in Sheik's favor, but I don't really... F it's like, I find it to be even. Uh -huh. Or maybe slightly in Sheik's favor. Like, Marth, if the Marth plays smart, they can just keep the Sheik out. And right. if the Sheik gets in, yeah, Marth is screwed, but Marths are typically patient, patient and smart players, and they shouldn't let Sheik get in at all. Emu's looking pretty dominant right yeah, now. Yeah, he's looking extremely dominant. He's just got really fluid movement, really fluid combos. I'm kind of expecting um, Edges to go probably his Fox. This game. We also forgot to update. Wow. Oh, yeah, we have to change. Uh, Jeez. Bad stream runners over here. Yeah. We're bad. Reset scores. And also, we have to type in like what round this is on the bracket. Whatever. And. I don't know what round this is. Emu Killer takes game one. Wow. Four stock. Let's see. This is in winners. Oh. Ready? Uh, Alright, let's just get into the match. We'll skip it this time. Okay. The other one. Wow, he went DK. I'm surprised. He. I've known that NJ's Finest plays a ton of different characters. Uh -huh. um, he used to be a Young Link player. Now he's playing DK. He plays Fox, he plays Sheik. He plays the whole cast. I have no idea what this matchup is. Yeah, um, it's definitely in Marth's favor, but the thing is, like, DK kind of has a lot of range as well. Right. Once again, uh, Emu is looking pretty dominant. Oh, maybe not. I think that Upbeat has a couple frames of invincibility. DKs. Yep. Oh, the combo. That'll happen. Juggles. You know, this stage two is the perfect height for Marth to get tippers on the platforms. Seems like. NJ's finest really just doesn't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, he maybe he felt that his Fox wouldn't cut it because he was just such a strong player. Mm -hmm. So he thought maybe pulling out something strange like DK would um, possibly get him to win. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be working, though. He was two stocks ahead. And he's still racking up damage. Oh, bad DI. That DI is so annoying with Bar Fa uh, Barth's up tilt. It's like you want to DI away, but it's never what you expect. You want to DI with the sword, basically. What's up, Alec? 
<laughs> yeah, there are two Yestercades. This is a black magic capture card, the 60 FPS, 40p. Yeah, it looks beautiful. All right, DK took his stock, but it looks like he's about to lose this one. Yep. Emu's edge game is really strong. Ooh, oh. I, I like that. But look at what it calls him. It's nice to see a DK combo because I never see anyone play DK. Oh yeah, let's change that. A big fan from Germany. Awesome. Sweet. Gosh, it's such a hard matchup. Ooh, punch. Yeah, that up B's got really strong hitbox. All right. See, he's using the, the stage jank to his advantage. He's definitely not going down without a fight, but that's that. still won 2-0.